Mario Boost. channel and thank you for watching the early preview trailer of Jet Island which is coming to VR in early 2018 so there's a couple things I want to talk about in this video and I figured I might as well fly around the world and show off some cool tricks uh, while I'm at it so the first thing that I want to say uh, is just a huge thank you to the already big community behind this game and the beta players who uh, have been so awesome and it has been so much fun playing this game online, uh, making a bunch of friends and yeah, it has just been such a blast playing this game and all the excitement behind the game. So I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for that. Uh, the next thing that I want to talk about, by the way, if you'll see me looking at my hand, I have some invisible notes for myself here, uh, is that there is a link to the Discord server in the description of this video. So, if you are a user of Discord and you like Discord stuff, uh, go ahead and join the uh, Jet Island Discord. By the way, I think the camera is inside of a wall. There it was for a second. That might happen time to time in this video, but doesn't happen in the game. Uh, but anyways, the Discord is already super awesome, that it's definitely the place to go uh, if you want news about Jet Island or want to talk uh, with people and ask questions about the game. Uh, it's especially the place to go if you have won a beta key and you're looking for other players to play with. And when the game gets released, I think that that is going to be the central hub of players uh, playing Jet Island and already has just been... Uh, such a strong community foundation and it has just been so much fun. Uh, why don't I, at some point in this video, try to catch some air and see if I can actually jump on top of the monster and show you what that's like while I'm flying around. Uh, so yeah, that is the Discord channel, link in the description below. Go ahead and join that, it is awesome. Uh, the next thing I want to say, um, is beta keys. I want to talk about uh, how you can win a beta key in this video. Um, so this time around I'm going to be limiting the number of beta keys. I'm only going to give out exactly eight beta keys. As soon as I give that out I'm going to stop giving out beta keys uh, until the next uh, video giveaway which I will have instructions in the following video on how to win beta keys in the future after these eight keys. Um, I'm gonna wait 24 hours to pick the keys, or pick the winners of the keys, so that, that way everybody has a fair chance to uh, leave a comment, and I'm going to pick the keys a lot more, just completely randomly, as long as the comment falls within the guidelines of the rules. Uh, it, I'm just gonna do it uh, by complete random chance this time. Um, and let's see, okay, so, uh, the two requirements to enter into, oh wait, the boss is over there, oh, I can totally swing up and get it, this is a perfect opportunity, <laughs> anyways, um, the two requirements, uh, for your YouTube comments, by the way, you leave a YouTube comment to, uh, enter your chance to win the beta key, and uh, the only two requirements are that you say, hey, I want a beta key so that I know <laughs> that you want a beta key and that, that is the reason for your comments. Uh, and the other requirement is anything related to the boss. Either it could be a question, it could be a statement, it could be an idea, suggestion. All right, now I'm on top of the boss, or his tail at least. Um, that was pretty sweet. I swung off a building on top of the mountain. Um, by the way, the boss is always flying around uh, the whole map, just in the open world, and you can engage him anytime that you want. Uh, the camera's going to go through the walls a lot in this area of the map, I apologize for that. I'm going to try to get to the other side of the boss for now so that the camera's not going through the map as much. That's better. Alright, let's try to pick up some speed. 
Um, so yeah, those are the two requirements. Just leave a YouTube comment saying, hey, I want to pee, and just anything about the boss. Um, so there has been a major problem with the YouTube comments that there have been a lot of times that I've clicked on a YouTube uh, username uh, from their comment in the past, and I was just about to give them a beta key, but then YouTube glitched and I wasn't able to message them, so there's just really nothing I could do. Um, so this time around, I just want to say, if your YouTube account is over three years old, uh, so if you've created your YouTube account within the last three years, you should be good to go, I think. And uh, if you haven't, just try to integrate Google Plus with your YouTube account. Basically, the way you check is you go to um, the part that says, uh, I'm trying to swing on a giant monster and think about this at the same time, <laughs> is to uh, go to where it says my channel, go to your YouTube channel, even if there's nothing there. And if you have a little tab that says about, then you're good to go. If you don't have that, then you still need to integrate Google Plus. Um, and yeah, so that's that. Uh, and as an alternative, I'm gonna put a link in the description below to the Reddit post. Uh, if you found this video on Reddit, you can also just post there. You can post either on YouTube or Reddit. It won't affect your chances of winning a beta key. And uh, you can post on both if you would like. Just leave a little note that says, uh, hey, I also posted this on YouTube. That's totally fine. Uh, and if I just can't message you on YouTube, then I'll look for your post on Reddit uh, so that I can just private message you the beta key there. Um, and I think that is everything that I want to talk about in this video. Um, I haven't really talked about the giant boss other than riding on him right now and the uh, trailer of uh, the new boss, but what can I say? It, it's, <laughs> it's a giant boss that's just always flying around the 3D world, um, and you can engage him at any point. I don't want to uh, kill him yet in the video, uh, but you totally can attack and kill him. Um, he has three um, stages that will be throughout the game. So the first time you defeat him, he'll go away and he'll come back later stronger and harder. Uh, and you gotta beat him three times and the third time he'll fully destroy him. Um, and each time you battle him, it'll be in a different part of the world. Um, but uh, the parts of the world that he flies around in are huge. Like he's just all, like if you've noticed in the video, like, in the video clips where I'm not directly riding on the monster, you can probably see him in the background because he's just so huge that he's like always there and he's always like just over the horizon line of the mountains and it's just so epic and so much fun and the physics work so good. Um, oh, by the way, just fun <laughs> fact that I might as well throw in this video, because last video I was talking so much about moving platforms. This boss is a moving platform. It uses the same code as the moving platforms. So when I said I haven't yet found the limits <laughs> of what these moving platforms can do, <laughs> this is part of me not having found the limits yet. I mean, this is a gigantic moving platform flying around in the sky, rotating in a bunch of different crazy directions with uh, crazy physics. You can swing from it, you can slide on it, and yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. I just got distracted by playing it and just uh, how awesome it is. Um, oh, another thing that's pretty cool here, why don't I uh, see if I can, there we go. Uh, you can land and just stand on the boss, and if I look at my speedometer, wow, it, it's actually faster than usual. Right now it's telling me 95 miles per hour. Oh, it's probably because this body piece is turning and I'm about to fall off of it, probably. Maybe, I don't know, but it says, even though I'm standing, it says I'm moving 100 miles per hour right now. So even though this boss looks like he's barely even moving in the sky, he's actually moving on average about 70 miles per hour, but it looks slow because he's just so gigantic. So 
yeah, there's definitely going to be tons of updates, uh, tons of mo tons of more stuff about this boss. I mean, this boss is basically the new main objective of the game is defeating the boss. So it completely changes the game. There's just as soon as you get in the game, well not as soon as, but like, I don't know, I'd say within 10 or 20 minutes of playing the game, you'll probably spot him in the sky. And then from there on out, there's a flying monster in the sky that gives you an overall objective in the game. You're like, I need to build up my skills and gear until I can defeat that monster flying up in the sky. And it's, yeah, just the perfect unifying objective that just gives a whole new, awesomeness to the game <laughs> so yeah so i guess that's everything that i want to say in this video so until my next video i will see you later and keep making games